make each uh, you know, major uh, new step in the protocol is something that we are working very closely on to get right. That's why at this moment there is a serious discussion going on of a travel ban. Uh, again, we'll come back to you very shortly on that. But what's good is we all have learned how to have the kind of communication we need to have before making a final decision. What would a travel ban, a travel ban mean? It literally means that, except for emergency vehicles and authorized personnel, that no one else is allowed on the roads and that that will be enforced. And the underground subways, would that mean that people can go on the subways? A travel ban refers to roads and vehicles. I would say it's quite obvious people should not be in the subway either for all the reasons we're saying. It's, I, I want to make it real simple. If you're at work and you can, go home right now. If you're an owner of a store, shut your store. It's just really straightforward. People should realize this is going to be very likely one of the worst snowstorms in our history. The best thing people can do is go home, stay home. The best chance we have of getting back to normal on Monday is if people get back to home and let everyone here and their employees do their job. Anyone else? Last questions, go in once, yes. Obviously there's a lot of snow, any safety advice or anything for all the kids that want to play in this Yeah, as I said, I really want to emphasize to my fellow parents, I, <laughs> I feel your pain to say the least if the kids are clamoring to go outside. I've been there many, many times. Uh, what I say is, look, if you have a backyard or the kids can play right in front of your house, that's great. Uh, but I would not have kids going very far from the home. If you want to go really uh, quickly to someplace near your home, stay with your kids. Adult supervision necessary. This is a fastly intensifying storm, uh, and it's slippery, it's gusty. I, as a parent, wouldn't let my kids out of my sight. So if you want to get them a little bit of air, a little bit of running around, keep your eyes on them, keep it as minimal as possible, get them back inside. But uh, what my kids at a certain age would have done, they would have gone off to the park sledding and all, and I wouldn't have thought there's a problem in that. Not today. Not today. I would not let them out of my sight if I'm a parent. Yes? Is there a chance that underground subways might be shuttered? For Conceivable. I mean, again, this is going in stages. I think, um, you know, we've had a, a very full conversation with the governor and the MTA. At this point, there is not an impulse to a MTA closure. I think, again, a travel ban for the roads is more likely than an MTA closure. But this is an hour-to-hour -hour thing. Again, I wanna, want everyone to hear we're in a very different situation than we were last night. And we're even in a different situation than we were at the beginning of the morning. The latest estimates show both an intensification of the number of inches to expect and the speed with which it's coming in. So over 20 inches makes us one of the top five snowstorms in New York City history going back to 1869. There is a chance to get to 25 or even 30 inches. So the best way for people to think about this is we're going into uncharted territory here, and it would not be shocking, again, to go to a travel ban or maybe even an MTA closure. But that latter decision is going to be done very, very carefully in consultation with the state. Yes? Paul, to that, would you guys give like an hour or two hours notice? Yes, or? absolutely. We would give at least a couple hours. No, well, I don't want to speak for the state and the MTA. They have to make that ultimate decision. On a travel ban, we would give a couple hours notice. Anything else? Yes.